thank you very much uh, for being here. So I am Trisha. Uh, the surname is long, so I just put bees <laughs> from somewhere. <laughs> so it's Trisha E. Um, and official, I have done consulting like all my life. Um, so I, I worked as a consultant and in some organizations over the last um, 11 years. So I've consulted for over 10 um, Fortune 100 companies here. Um, and it's cut across digital marketing, experiential marketing, public relations, some advertising, PR, um, Bluetooth marketing, like any kind of marketing. Um, I've tried to understand what it is. Um, for me then, it was basically I'm very restless. So HR is to call me flight risk. Um, sometimes to get some jobs, I have to take out some of my some of the past places I worked so that they could <laughs> they wouldn't see the <laughs> um, the movement. And I would never have guessed that all of that was leading me somewhere. For me, it was just I wanted to learn. I wanted to apply myself. Um, so my last job was in 2017, and I'd gotten to that point again where. Been there, done that. Um, and if you worked across a couple of multinationals, it's the same thing we do across marketing. It's just a different culture. <laughs> so, and I was quite frustrated there because I was working on a global brand. And when you work on global brands, you cannot create in your local country. Um, it's always off-brand strategy. It's this, is that. You have to do this. But it does not work in this market. Um, but they don't care. That is what Glo um, Global wants and we have to do it. Um, so I was looking for what next? Do I go to another multinational or what exactly? And I stumbled on a report. So Smedan had done some reports in collaboration with National Bureau of Statistics um, on entrepreneurship in Nigeria. It's like 70 pages. I don't, even know, I don't know what I was searching for online and I found it. And I began to read about it. And there was a number I saw there that struck me. Um, it says there was about 32 million micro, small, and medium enterprises in Nigeria as of 2013. One. Two of that number, about 90 something percent are micro, not even small. Medium businesses were not even up to 100,000. Um, and they listed a couple of reasons why many of them were still micro businesses. I'm like, this is jackpot. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this was around March 2017. Um, at the beginning of the 2017, I had just been playing with Instagram. I didn't know what Instagram was. <laughs> so I was just playing with it. I was putting out some content about business. Um, I got one or two clients here and there um, while I was still working. Um, but when I saw this report, I'm like, OK, this is the next challenge that I'm going to hop on. Um, so to help me land softly, I looked for who I thought was the best coach then. Um, and I paid him to understand how coaching worked. Because I had no clue. I'd done 9 to 5 all my life. Um, so he put me through. It was really amazing, Steve Harris. Um, he put me through. I understood. And I asked him about pricing and all those kind of things. Um, but all of the feedback I got, and I spoke to a couple of other coaches, all the feedback I got did not help me solve the problem of the micro guys. So when I asked them about fees, I hear plenty zeros. I, you know, just charge, this is what we charge, you know, because you have a lot of knowledge, you need to position yourself. But those guys cannot afford it. Um, so I, I struggled for a bit on how to position myself and help. Because I really wanted to impact, even though, of course, I'll, I'll make some money um, in the process, but I just wanted to help them. Um, so I found my mojo. Um, and it was deviating from the norm. I stumbled on webinars. And that was how. So my first webinar was 3,000 there. <laughs> and I had like 200, I think I'd made 450,000 in like 48 hours. Um, from 33k, you know, so I've just, yeah, so I've just grown from there and seen how I can help micro businesses get bite sized information because, uh, again, there's lots, loads of information out there that's not relevant for their current business phase. Uh, because I have served several organizations, I understand 
um, marketing or branding or sales that works for different um, types of organizations. So I've brought all that um, into Trisha B. So yeah. It